this video, I want to look at why I choose the template that I do. So in this, obviously in the previous videos, I've shown you this one up here, architectural design meters, and why I like to use this one, rather than 3D printing millimeters. So in this case, I'm going to show you why. So when you look at this screen, you think, excellent, you have the MakerBot Replicator 2X bed size shown. So you think, okay, this is going to be ideal for 3D printing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the Replicator box out of the screen so I can demonstrate why this is a problem when you're trying to design small parts for 3D printing. So first of all, I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a box 10, 10, which is 10 millimeters. No problem. I will now zoom into that box. What I want to do, I now want to draw a circle in the box. So I'm on the face. I've constrained it to the blue axis and I'm going to draw a circle. So here I'm drawing a circle of three millimeters. So 1.5 and I've got this circle. Now if I zoom in, you can see the segmented part of the circle here. And up here you can see I've got a radius of 1.5 millimetres with 24 segments. If I want to go bigger, will it let me? No. I have the maximum you can get when you're drawing very small circles. Or if you want a small hole, you will be hit by this limitation. We can get around this when we use the architectural meters and we make SketchUp think we are drawing in meters, but actually we're going to draw in millimeters. Just to continue on with this, I'm going to complete this model a little bit more. So I'm going to expand this up and I'm also going to delete the center. I need to highlight the whole thing, file, export STL, and I'll call it test so again i'm now in super slicer i'm going to bring the model in so test bring it in so here you can see it's come in the size as we expect but when you zoom in you can clearly see the segments so you don't get a nice rounded print so this time i'm going to choose the architectural design meters and I'm going to produce the same model. So on the blue ten comma ten. I'm going to choose the circle tool and again one point five Obviously, at first it looks like, oh, very segmented because it's drawn it as 24, but now I can possibly move this up to 200. I could possibly go higher. 200 will work fine. So I'll quickly again pull it up. 1.4. Delete the center. I need to highlight the component. File, export STL, model units, export. I'm going to call this one test one. Click on save. And now in Super Slicer, I'm going to bring in test one. Click open. And here you can see it's brought the second one in. Same sizes, but when you look closely, the radiuses, or sorry, the segments, are nearly all gone, and this will print a lot better. 
So I hope this explains the advantages of using the meters rather than the millimeter template in SketchUp. Thank you.